another concept in probability that, that students get confused with is the, the idea of independence and disjoint. Okay, independent versus disjoint. And by the way, disjoint also means mutually exclusive. Oops, let me spell that right. Mutually exclusive. That says that down here. Disjoint or mutually exclusive events cannot both happen at the same time. So to check to see if events are disjoint or mutually exclusive, we just have to ask ourselves, is the probability of A and B equal to zero? And if this is true, then the two events are, are uh, disjoint or mutually exclusive. Independence is a whole other thing. To check to see if two things are independent, you have to go with this formula here and see what happens. If the probability of an event of event B given event A is equal to the probability of event B, then they are independent. I kind of like to think of this lots of times as just this, the probability of B given A, if that's equal to the probability of B. Sometimes we don't have to go through and use this entire part of the formula. We can just go straight from here to here to check for independence. But you've got to know independence and disjoint are not the same thing. Independence and mutually exclusive are not the same thing. They're two different concepts and you have to check for them in two different ways. So here's a couple of examples. Let's just do this first one here. Are having a red card and spade independent of each other? Let's start there. So I want to know if the probability of pulling a red card given that I have a spade is the same as the probability of having a red card. Well, the probability of pulling a red card given that the card that I have is a spade is zero. Because if I have a spade, if I know that I have a spade, all the spades are black. That means I cannot have had a red card. So the probability of having a red card given that I've got a spade is zero. Now, the probability of getting a red card is one half. There are 52 cards in a deck and half of those cards are red, so it's one half. Is zero equal to one half? No. So I can say that red card and spade are not independent. In fact, they are dependent on each other. Now, what about mutually exclusive? For mutually exclusive, I need to check to see if the probability of a red card and a spade is equal to zero. If this is true, then they are mutually exclusive. So what is the probability of having a card that is both red and a spade? Well, the probability of that is zero. So the, pro the event of red card and, and the event of spade are mutually exclusive or disjoint. You can say it either way. Okay, so you have to, they're two different concepts and you have to check on that um, in two different, you know, in, with two different methods. I could go down here, I'm not going to do all of these, but how about this one? Are red card and ace independent and are they mutually exclusive? So again, I'm checking for myself. What is the probability, erase that. What is the probability that I have a red card given that it is an ace? And is that equal to the probability of having a red card? Well, the probability of having a red card given that I have an ace would be one half. Because if I have an ace, okay, if I have an ace and I know I have it, there's four aces and there are two of those four aces are red, so it's one half. Now, what's the probability of having a red card? Well, we found that up here. The probability of having a red card is also one half. Is one half equal to one half? Yes. So red card and ace are independent. Independent. There we go. <clears throat> now, what about mutually exclusive? Let's take a look at that. I have to look and say, let's use a different color. Is the probability of having a red card and an ace equal to zero. 
I don't know. Is that true? Is this equal to zero? Well, no. We know that the probability. Uh, we know that there are some red cards that are also aces. So, what is the probability that I have a red card? I have a card that is both red and an ace. Well, there are two of those out of 52. Is two out of 52 equal to zero? No, it's not. So these are not disjoint. Oops, put my S in there, disjoint. They are not mutually exclusive. It means the same thing. So you've got to know the difference between the two and how to check for those two.